Welcome to Lecture Online. Now let's do an example of a linear first order differential equation of the homogeneous type, or more properly said, this is a homogeneous first order linear differential equation. Now you may not recognize it immediately as such because the, the form, the general form of that equation is y prime plus some function of x times y is equal to zero. So that's what we call the homogeneous form. And then you realize here that if you divide both sides of the equation by x, you will get it to be in that form right here. So when we divide both sides by x, we get y prime plus four times x times y is equal to zero. And now it looks exactly like that with the function of x being equal to four x. Now we know that the general solution of this equation is this. It's y is equal to some constant times e to the minus integral of the function of x dx. And that's it. That would be the form of the solution like that. And so what we could do is we could go ahead and just simply plug into this equation for f of x, 4x, and find the solution. However, before we do that, let's just work through the problem to get a little bit of a practice. All right, so what we're going to do is write this as dy dx, so dy dx. Uh, plus 4x times y is equal to 0. Then moving this to the other side, we get dy dx is equal to minus 4x times y. And then separating the variables, bringing all the y's to the left side, all the x's to the right side, we have dy divided by y is equal to minus 4x dx. And then we can integrate both sides. When we do, we end up with the natural log of y is equal to minus 4 times x squared divided by 2 plus some constant of integration, I'll call it plus c1. I can simplify that, so this is equal to the natural log of y is equal to minus 2x squared plus some constant of integration. Now if I take the antilog of both sides, this becomes e to the natural log of y is equal to e to the minus 2x squared plus c1. And then, of course, this negates the natural log, so this simply becomes y is equal to uh, some constant because e to the c1 is some, simply another constant, a constant times e to the um, minus 2x squared, and that would then become the solution to our homogeneous equation. Now, what we could have done, we could have just simply taken the general form and said, okay, the solution that must look like this, y is equal to c e to the negative integral of f of x, and I realize that f of x is equal to 4x, so I plug in 4x like this, and so I can say that y is equal to c e to the negative. Oop, of course I can't forget my dx, otherwise I can't integrate it, so I do have to have a dx here. So then I can go ahead and integrate 4x, so this is equal to uh, 4x squared divided by 2. My constant of integration is already over here, so finally I can say that y is equal to c e to the minus 2x squared, which of course is the exact same result that I got down here. So you can save yourself a little bit of time by realizing I know what the general solution looks like. I can then simply plug in what f of x is equal to, do the integral, and get the solution, or you can simply work all the way through it, and you get, of course, in the end, the same results. Either way is just fine. I would say that if you can remember the general form and simply plug it in, that would probably be the easiest way to handle this type of problem. And that's how it's done.